What's going on guys, Lil Morse here, back guys, a brand new episode of Washington Station, the best station for Washington Football Nation. Now obviously today's video, we're going to be talking about Sunday's matchup against the Baltimore Ravens. Every time I say that, I just accept a few. Well, I'm going to be straight up about this one, this problem is probably not going to be very long, because I can be very brief with it. Um, there's not a whole lot to go over. Um, I don't see us winning. Shocker! I don't see us winning against the Baltimore Ravens. Like they're a super team, they're strong. Yes, they lost to the Chiefs, but the Chiefs are whatever the level above a super team is, maximum power team, whatever you want to call it. They are just crazy strong with Clyde Edwards, Hello, 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 I think. And then Patrick Mahomes and Tyree Kill, Nicole, um, Nicole Harman, Travis Kelsey, and I could go on and on and on. I'm not going to. Um, so really, it's going to come down to. So let's 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 think hypothetically. Every team goes to the football game you know, thinking they can win. Yes, there is a possibility we can win. We can pull out. We can pull a shocking game. But what has to happen? The defense needs to learn from what happened against Kyle Murray. Kyle Murray was mobile. Now, Lamar Jackson and Kyle Murray are both two scary mobile quarterbacks. There's a difference between the two. Kyle Murray is a shorter guy, so he's a little bit. A little bit quicker. He can kind of run around a little bit more. Freelance. Lamar can't freelance quite as much. He's just very athletic and a crazy athlete and can get out. So the same game plan that I said for the Cardinals has to be in, put in here. We have to learn to contain. We have to contain Lamar. That O-line is very good. Our D-line is very good. Yes, we probably won't have Chase Young. We definitely don't have Matt Ioannidis. But you know who, um, but poor thing, we have Montez Sweat, Ryan Kerrigan, and Jonathan Allen, Tim Saddle, Deron Payne. And we've got, um, what's his face? Nate Orchard, we got to get him. N don't know if he's actually going to play, but he's on, the, he's on the roster now. So, you know, it's on, uh, you know, maybe Kalecki Hudson gets some looks. You know, it, it, it can be a range of things that could happen for the lineup. But the lineup is still good. The lineup is still starting caliber lineup. So the secondary's got to learn from their mistakes. They are still having miscommunications. Not as bad, but it's got to get that ready to go because Hollywood Brown's going to be some trouble. Mark Andrews is going to be some trouble. And right down there's going to be a little bit. We're going to have a lot of trouble. Um, you know, and, you know, with um, Mark Ingram and then the new running back whose name is blanking, but you know who I'm talking about. Um, they, they're going to be, they're, they're scary right now. They're really scary with Lamar, and it's crazy. It's freaking crazy that that play them. I really wish we weren't, but you know it is what it is. So defensively, we have to we have to do our best to contain Lamar, and the, the secondary just has to learn from their past mistakes. They're making too many mistakes, and last week was the first week where they played pretty solid for the most part. Yes, there were a lot of problems with it. They played decently solid, just like they played against Philly. Um, offensively, this is where it's going to get weird. Um, obviously, the news came out that um, Dwayne Haskins had a sit-down meeting with Ron Rivera and the other offensive coaches, and they were telling him, look, we want you to succeed, but if you do anything like you did against Cleveland, we're going to have to pull you because that kind of – that kind of um, regression is unacceptable. Three three receivers. If he didn't stare down his three receivers, maybe he don't have a pattern, but he was staring down every single receiver. And when you stare him down, the linebacker will know exactly what you're doing. It's the ABCs of football. But I went over that in Wednesday series, so I'm not going to harp on that too much. Um, we have to play smart. We have to play strong. I think we need to try to pat, ground and pound. I know they have a, they have a freaking – Monster deep because they just extended Marlon Humphrey. You know, they got him, they got Calais Campbell. They have, I could just go over their whole defense of monsters that they have. Marcus Peters, especially. So, receivers are going to be locked down, and it's not good that it looks like Stephen Sims is going to be out for Sunday. And the past couple of days, Terry McLaurin has had a hip injury and has been on a um, bicycle for the past couple of days and not really practicing. But that could just be precautionary so that he doesn't do anything in anticipation for Sunday's game. So don't don't count Terry out yet, but Stephen Sims will definitely count out. Um, Stephen Sims goes out, then I would see um, the guy who played last week. 
I'm I'm horrible with names right now. All these new people coming in. But the uh, number eighty three, I see him getting some is it Smith or something. I don't know. Um, I see him get some playing time. Getting Golden, I think we will get some more playing time. Um, obviously we want to see the Inman and McLaurin, I, I believe. If Inman, if McLaurin is out, then I think Andy Golden's really going to get a lot of time to shine during Sunday. Um, he had a lot of time in the past week, so I think we're going to see a lot of that. Um, he has a good breakout speed. You know, the 40-yard, his 40-yard is kind of like, eh, but then when you see him Sunday before he got popped by Carl Joseph, he was booking it. So, you know, maybe I'm just a little biased because, you know, he has graduated. He just left, graduated from Liberty, and I'm at Liberty right now. So maybe that's, I mean, that's the reason I'm so biased. But I think if we get him involved more, he has some strong hands. Just give him in a good position, he can play. But I do want to ground a pound with um, Antonio Gibson and Jenny McKissick. Um, I, that that showed a lot of promise the past three weeks, especially Sunday against a strong line of the Browns. Can't um, yes, we we screwed ourselves in that game, but you can't deny some of those players on the Cleveland defense who are monsters, like, especially Miles Garrett. Like him or hate him, he's a monster. Really. And um, I think we just need to try to see what holes, see what lanes open up the best, see what holes open up the best. Maybe do some outside, do some inside. Um, inside with Gibson, I would run the kids in more to the outside if I'm alternating them. Um, Bryce Love just got put on the IR today, so... Uh, I don't think there's anything wrong with him. I think it's just, well, he has been out of practice, but also I think they're just taking precautions because he's coming from that disastrous knee injury from his college years. And, you know, they want him to be a full go when he goes, um, hopefully next season. Um, we want I want to see Bryce Love succeed. I think it'd be a, I think it'd be a great addition to the running game. Um, it's games like this where I think we're going to realize how much we will or will not miss Adrian Peterson. Because I'm saying ground and pound. The only way I feel like we can really get down to sequence is if we wear them out. And that's just going up the middle and just shoving it up the shoving it up the throats. And that's what Adrian Peterson was good at. I mean you see him doing it in Detroit. So I think we need to this game will be to define do we miss Adrian Peterson or was he just an amazing player to have? But we know we got players to move on. Antonio Gibson is if you've seen the stats, they're absolutely awesome. It's like one of the top five in yards per carry, which is outstanding. Um, but I think he's going to be, but then it's going to be a week where we find out um, really was that move a good or bad move. And, and Dwayne, you know, I mean, I don't have anything to say about Dwayne. I'm just, I'm, I got it back, you know. It's, and don't think it's the wrong way. Nobody is trying to tell him, look, you're playing piss poor. Get it together. It's like, look, you're you're. We need you to progress, but you're regressing in the past couple of weeks. We need you to, because I'm not saying I'm not saying small things change the game. Yes, turnover battles. Whoever wins the turnover battle wins the game. And let's be 100 honest. Dwayne Haskins lost us that game because if not for that, I believe we would have won. If it wasn't for his interceptions, we would have won. We've been two and one. I wouldn't count the Cardinals game. He didn't throw a pick in that one. I mean, yes, it might have been poor play, but. You know, it is what it is. They're playing really good. Um, but yeah, Cleveland, I think we would have won had not been for this um, turnovers. So, you know, they still had me limited turnovers. You know, don't say that on receivers. Scan the field. You know, like I said in the video, scan the field, scan your progressions. Even if you know that receiver you're throwing to, you got to scan it all because you got to make the defense think you're at least trying to check out everybody. So that's, that's all I have to say on, the, on that. So I don't see this winning. I don't, I don't, maybe it'll be a close game, but I don't see us winning. So, I hope you have a great day. Make sure to subscribe, have a ready. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to, make sure to hit that bell button. You should know if I have an excellent time, I'll put a brand new video. Thank you all for watching. My name is Will Morris, and you, were just, and you just watched Washington Station. I'm out. Peace.